Hello and welcome to tutorial 154 and in this tutorial we're going to be creating an indicator using the market depth provider. Simply going to be adding the sum of the ask volumes for the first five levels and doing the same for the, the bid side and then taking a ratio of the ask over the bid side volumes. And then we're going to be plotting that on a graph. So first thing we're going to do is just going to copy in some uh, the input and some variables. Input is going to be the number of levels that we're going to be looking at and then we're going to be summing the, uh, the bid volume in some bid size and uh, similarly for some ask size. And uh, we're going to be using, as I say, a market depth provider. So what I'm going to do is go to the toolbox, double click on market depth provider, then I'm going to click on properties. If you can't see properties, go view and then toolbars and then properties. So we're going to leave most of these the same. Uh, we're going to change the load to be true. I'm going to change the name of this to uh, something a little simpler. Symbol, we want it to be the symbol that the chart um, has on it. So it's going to be the same, use the same symbol as used on the chart. And then maximum level count, I'm just going to be looking at five levels. I'm just going to leave that as 10. So I think that is everything we need to do there. And then, uh, oh, one more thing, we need to set up an update event. We do that clicking on the events. Then we come over here and then double click and that will create the update event which fires every time the market depth provider is updated. So uh, let's go through the program. Now because we're going to be summing things we need to reset them every time. So I'm just going to say sum bid size equals zero and then I'm going to do the same for some ask size then we're going to go through a for loop so we're going to say for and then we're going to need a counter I'm going to use the term line counter and what we're going to do is set that up as um, a variable in our method so um, variable it's an integer and it's called line counter and because it's in a method we uh, we don't need to set up some an initial value so for line counter equals zero to max levels that's our input minus one. So we're going to go zero, one, two, three, four. So uh, begin and end. And we need to uh, check that we've got the data we need. So we're going to say if MDP. Now we're going to be just for a moment, I'm just going to go to tools, options, and then enable autocomplete. And uh, if I now press the period you'll see the options that we've got. We're going to start with bid levels then I'm going to press the period again then we can say count and that has got to be greater or equal to line counter plus one like so. So if that then got another begin and And uh, what I'm going to do now is turn off that, uh, that useful autocomplete feature because it really does slow things down, as you can see. Okay, so this is where we're going to be doing the sum. So we're going to say sum bid size plus equals then MDP dot bid levels. So like we just had here and we want to we want to add up in the size of each bit bit level so we're going to be using the line counter to go through each of the bit levels and then we're going to be adding in the total size 
like so. And I'm just going to verify this so far. OK, it looks like we're good so far. Now we're going to do the same thing on the ask side. And I'm just going to modify bid to ask. Like so. So the, every update, we're going to be recalculating those uh, those values. Then having done that, what we're going to do is we're going to calculate and plot the ratio. So uh, we're going to say if. So the denominator is going to be some bid size. So I'm just going to say some bid size is greater than zero. And it's always good to make sure that the denominator is uh, not equal to zero. And then the ratio is sum ask size divided by sum bid size. So let's see if that verifies. OK, that looks good. A very simple program. So what I'm going to do is apply this to a chart, actually in uh, TradeStation version 10, and uh, show you what it looks like. So the first thing to note about the program is that this is a real-time program. So if you apply it to a chart, you won't see anything until there's some real-time bars with some uh, real-time activity and you can see that plotting now on this uh, VIX future. This program has one input and that can be uh, changed in the usual way of course as can the uh, the style of the lines and also the uh, color of the lines. So anyway um, hopefully this might be useful for you and uh, please join the Markplex email list of course and uh, also if you are not already subscribed to this YouTube channel then uh, please subscribe. So thank you very much.